After a couple of days of excitement in Ethereum, Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market, we've seen a bit of a slip today, which, which is surely returning a bit of fear in a pretty fearful market as is existing. But right now, something very exciting is showing on the Ethereum chart as well as on the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to take a look at that in today's episode. So guys, this is a 30 minute chart on the Ethereum price. We had a pretty aggressive rally yesterday up and we put these couple of wicks in uh, up into $2,000, just into $2,000 and then didn't really manage to hold above $2,000 and obviously $2,000 is a natural line in the sand that everyone's looking at probably thinking well I don't really want to get involved uh, at that price and more and more people are looking to sell on. So what I'm seeing is actually very interesting indeed particularly as this is also playing out on the Bitcoin chart right now and this is a falling sort of channel pattern. Uh, what I want to show you guys previously you know this is back yesterday we had for about an hour we broke towards the upside we came back down and we didn't really manage to hold showing us that this is what happens when we don't wait for retest because it then obviously collapsed back inside so if you'd gone in for a long perhaps uh, around this level you would have then just got burned uh, down towards here but what we can see guys we have broken again towards the outside of this pattern and right now we are starting to push back down into it which is interesting to see if we see a strong bullish candle coming in here perhaps moving us back towards 19 $50, then we will be looking to go back above $2,000. In my opinion, we are then going to see a push further on towards the upside. And that's because what I see over on the Bitcoin chart is looking kind of promising as well. Now, guys, what I put in here, I've got the supply box and my demand box. And basically, this is for my own sort of personal trading use and kind of like a pretty good strategy. If you want me to do some videos on supply and demand and how it's actually a really straightforward way to day trade, then make sure you leave a comment down below. And I'll make a video for you on that. So right now, what you can see is we every time we kind of coming into this green box, obviously we had a big dip down here, but we are finding support at around thirty-one thousand four hundred dollars. And the reason I'm looking at Bitcoin is because obviously when Bitcoin moves, Ethereum will tend to move more aggressively with it. And what I can see happening with Bitcoin, I think we're going to return for Bitcoin to around thirty-one thousand four hundred dollar level. And as long as we're maintaining this area through here then we will be taking a bounce, which will again push us to around 32K and will form somewhat of a W pattern. And ultimately from that, we could then see something much more significant playing out for the Bitcoin price, where we could well see a rally towards a sort of 33 and a half thousand dollar level, which I think as well is kind of in line with what's happening in the market right now. I do think we are due to have a bit more of a cool off. We're not going to push down right away, but obviously it could be wrong. So always go away and do your own research. Zooming out onto the four hour chart for Ethereum, you can see that this is a key level. I have just mentioned that we will be pushing towards this green line, which is pretty much just above $2,000. Breaking above the green line will surely send us uh, to this high here, which here is around $2,100. I talked earlier about supply versus demand trading, where I'm basically looking for where orders are going to get filled. And this for me is a perfect supply box, which ultimately does tend to mean that I'll look to short it. Now, obviously, I'm going to wait to see what happens because it doesn't mean that this holds out every single time it hits because otherwise nothing would ever go up or down. But we're looking for it to perhaps have to hold and push in order to avoid something like this coming through and a bounce further towards the downside. Because I have talked about yesterday, I think, that if we do push down then we're going to come down to around sixteen hundred dollars and the reason for that guys is zooming out into the weekly chart you can see that we're still a part of something much bigger i don't believe that this squeeze is over and we could well be dropping to around this level before we're seeing any significant start to the bull run but sixteen hundred dollars is around three hundred dollars lower than where we are right now which okay you might take a little bit of a loss if you were to sell at that point but i can't really see it going much lower than sixteen hundred dollars so in my opinion, this is a great discounted price to be accumulating crypto at, whether that's Ethereum, Bitcoin, or any other currency, which is obviously struggling to go up while Bitcoin is suffering right now. Guys, if you've enjoyed today's content, then make sure you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, you want to know more about Ethereum, Bitcoin, as it happens, when it happens, then make sure you subscribe to the House of Crypto. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.